Now to last night's civilian space launch, and we hear from the two astronauts who spent nine months on the space station for the first time since they returned to Earth. Gio Benita is back with that story. Hey, Gio. Hey, George. Yeah, first that historic launch, right? Lots of space news here. It turns out that humans really haven't flown directly over the North and South Poles in orbit. Now they are. They're doing it right now. This as we speak with those astronauts who sparked worldwide headlines. Three, two, Overnight, one, history is eight. headed to space. And lift off. The first human polar orbit space flight aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon Resilience, flying 267 miles over Earth. On the mission, all civilians, a cryptocurrency entrepreneur, a film director, a robotics researcher, and a polar adventurer. On the three to five day mission, the Fram 2 crew plans to take the first X-ray in space, perform exercise studies to maintain muscle and skeletal mass, and grow mushrooms in microgravity. As one SpaceX mission blasts off, others brought safely home on another crew dragon. I'm back. <laughs> first and foremost, we, we were always coming back. NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore sitting down with GMA for the first time after their nine month stay at the International Space Station. What was the first thing you did when you got back to planet Earth? Hug my wife, of course, and my daughters. Help us with this. Were you truly stuck in space? You know, we have a lifeboat all the time while we're up there in case anything happens, because anything can happen in space, right? We have we train for emergencies up there. We had a way to get off of the space station in case, in case there was a problem. But um, I, I never felt stuck. That eight-day mission turning into 286 days after technical issues with the Boeing Starliner, a SpaceX Crew Dragon able to bring them home. The astronauts crediting their previous space travel with how they're able to reacclimate after their extended stay. Acclimating back, getting used to that, the body remembers quickly, and I think we've all rebounded really, really quicker because of that past experience we've had. We've gone through this before, so you know that there's a little bit of a hump to get over feeling a little crappy and then, you know, get back into dealing <laughs> with gravity. And a lot of people have been wondering about their health. Well, you saw them there. They say they are feeling great. They're feeling strong. In fact, on Sunday, Sunny says that she went out for a three-mile run already. And again, this was just two weeks ago when they got back. They credit their rehabilitation team right here at NASA for getting them in shape, guys. Yeah, it's good to see them back yeah. and in shape, running mm -hmm. further than I've run in years. <laughs> All right, congrats to both of them. All right, Gio, thank you.